Hi, hello everyone. Um, so today I'm going to make a really, really quick video. Um, I'm just going to show you how I blow out my hair. It's actually a really, really simple process. It doesn't take very long. Um, the tools that I'm going to be using today are my Revlon round brush hair dryer, which I've shown in a previous video about my favorite tools. Hair clips to section my hair because that's really important, especially if you have really thick curly hair. My trusty uh, heat protectant. I mentioned this in my favorite products video. And then in a new thing that I've started using on my hair actually. Okay, it will not, it just will not focus. It's the uh, Protect Keratin Defense Serum and I like to spray this first on and then I add this onto my hair and that's, that's it. And I quarter my hair, stretch my hair to quarters and then I go. Um, another thing is sometimes I'll use my Felicia Leatherwood brush to also detangle my hair if there's certain bits of it that I feel um, just aren't budging. So I've got my hair drying in this microfiber towel. It's been drying in there for about two hours. So not too bad. I like to dry it for an hour, just like I like to for my wash and goes, but two hours is not too terrible. And this is what we're working with. Freshly deep conditioned hair. So clips on and the first thing that I do is I put my product on first because I don't really like to keep switching between using the blow dryer, like putting in product, using the blow dryer, putting in product. Like I used to do that before, I really don't know why. My camera fell because my camera setup is actually not very stable. But we move, I have things to do. Shake, spray, you rake the product through your hair, you know the drill. You make sure that it's all uh, coated with it essentially. So that's one quarter done. And uh, now I'm gonna do the others. Um, I'm just gonna speed run it for you. Just wanted to say that I tend to try, I don't always, but I tend to try and spray my tips first before spraying everywhere else because I tend to forget my tips. Don't be too alarmed by the look of foam, that just disappears. Okay, so I have sprayed all four quadrants of my hair with some heat protectant. Um, and now I'm gonna go in with this serum. I started using this serum about a month ago, so from what I can gather, <laughs> it's good stuff. I like it. Uh, it. It just adds like an extra layer of protection without the weight, without the greasiness that the Fantasia IC has and it also has a nice smell to it as well it's quite fruity so i like to put this on top of the heat protecting that i've already sprayed it just adds just that extra peace of mind for me because I, I don't really like heat styling my hair i've mentioned in previous videos that i've had heat damage twice so i i tend to be more careful <laughs> But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It, it's up to you really how much of it you want to use. I, I don't know if I'm in a position to actually advise how much to use or what to use because I've not been using it for that long. I feel like um, I've been, I'm just kind of being quite cautious about giving anyone advice on what to do with it. So maybe when I've used it for a few more months, I might come back and tell you guys specifically how much I use and, and what I think is appropriate. <laughs> for now, if anybody cared, I would say use about that much. But again, it's not hard or fast rule. Please do use whatever you feel is appropriate. For the next step, I just split my hair into sections. Um, if I think that a section is not detangled enough for the round brush, I will go through it with my Felicia Leatherwood. I mentioned in the previous video that I like to use it on damp hair. And as you can see, my hair is already detangled, but it wasn't like fully there. So I will just go through it again with the Felicia Leatherwood brush just to be on the absolute safest of sides to remove any straggly stray hairs that might be about and then once I'm done doing that I will then basically take the blow dryer there are three settings on it one is like a zero and then a snowflake and then a one and a two and I start with the snowflake which is basically just the cool setting and then once I'm happy that my hair is not too much of a weakened stick because your hair tends to be a bit weaker when it's wet or when it's damp I think in our hair's case I will then bump it up to a two I hope that makes sense really what I'm trying to say is when your hair is in in a cold state you don't want to shock it with just immediate heat you want to at least try with something cool first get it a little bit dry a little bit more damp I'd say about 50 to 60 percent uh, dry and then you bump it up to the high heat to really get that stretch 
this is what my hair looks like when it's 50% dry and damp so I'm happy with this now I'm going to bump the heat up and blow it out I'm gonna try and sit up a little bit so you can see it all I will use the alligator clips to flip out what I've blown out away from the rest of my hair and I'll just pretty much do the whole the rest I can't talk to do the rest of my hair and then I'm gonna come back uh what was I gonna say yeah so you saw me doing this essentially so wrapping it round and then putting it to the root basically it's to create tension and the tension and the heat is what stretches out your hair so I find that doing that really does get to the roots as well which is why I like to do that I'm gonna use uh, bigger sections as well I was just using a smaller section so that you could see what I do, but um, if I'm feeling really really lazy sometimes I'll just split split <laughs> sometimes I'll just split each section into two I don't know what's going on I say this all the time I don't know what's going on with me maybe I'm just a weird person I also forgot to mention that I tend to clip my hair at the root and then also um, on the end just because my hair does like to unravel and it likes to curl in on itself and this just sort of helps to keep everything in place and weight down otherwise it will go outward and not downward and that's not really what I'm looking for. The other thing that I forgot to mention is that when I am doing the round brush I will curl it on my hair inward but then I will also curl it under. In fact, I'll just show you. It makes more sense if I just show you. Let's get a piece then. I will go underneath like this but then I will also go over as well like this. This really does help you to get to your roots. It also gives your hair a bit of movement and body as well. So once I'm done, I basically clip the root and then clip the ends. And then that is pretty much me done like I'm done blow drying my hair now I'll try and show you guys the back without falling down and dying if anybody remembers this stool is always trying to kill me this is my hair Ooh. <laughs> I don't I can't show my hair because my stools <laughs> this is my hair blown out I'll try and show you guys the back Okay, so that's pretty much how I blow up my hair. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something from it. And if you did, then please give it a like and uh, take care. Bye.